It's going to be a really sunny day today. There's the solar panels getting loads of uh, electricity. And this video is going to, going to be about what to do with excess electricity when you're, once your batteries are full. So, here are the batteries. Some lithium-ion batteries. I think they're 10 kilowatt hours there. And this is the inverter. And this is the, uh, the hot water tank. Oh, here is the little pump taking the, that's taking the hot water up to the solar panels on the roof to a conventional solar hot water system. But here, in the top of the tank, is a heating element that we installed with quite a lot of uh, effort by having to so solder a tube for the heating element to go into. So if you do get a, a water tank, make sure it's got an easy way of putting a supplemental heating element in. It's quite important. So when there is too much, well, when there is lots of electricity in the batteries, over 80, when they're over 80 percent, we send we send um, electricity from the batteries to um, heat up hot water. And that's the basic system. And uh, uh, important part of the system is this Raspberry Pi. So this Raspberry Pi has a thing in it called Solar Assistant. And that, by this cable here, communicates with the expert inverter. And it, it does a thing called uh, MQQT. I don't really understand, but it... Uh, it gets all of that the data from the batteries and the inverter and it enables that to be shared with other things. Well, actually, um, Home Assistant, which is running on another Raspberry Pi. But I used to have a much more complicated system. But this, well, I suppose this could be complicated also. But it's a very simple system. And if you once you know what you're doing, it's very easy to set up. So... This is the solar assistant program that was running on the, the Raspberry Pi above the um, inverter. And actually, they've got some quite nice graphics here. The Right now, the battery is 58% because it's uh, quite early in the morning. Actually, Christmas Day, to be honest, to be correct. And this, you can see, was yesterday. So we've got the... Um, you see the sun? This is the... Uh, this is how much sun was coming in and we can see about halfway through the day that's when it got to uh, that's when the battery charge got to 80% the you see that blue line there that's the amount of electricity we're using that's that's 800 watts heating the electric heating the electric tank with water so you can see and then it cuts off there that's when it would have gone below 80, 80 percent. The batteries would have gone below 80 percent because of the uh, the power being used by the um, in the heating up the water, and then it came off. And though that other bit there is just uh, probably our evening meal when we uh, did a bit of cooking, some scrambled eggs and stuff, and that, those little things there. That's just the fridge coming on and off throughout the night. But anyway, that solar assistant is very good. But so, but to do the automatic switching on and off, we need a program called Home Assistant. But uh, Solar Assistant goes and gets the data from the expert inverter or the inverter using a, syst using a thing called MQTT Broker. So the solar... Uh, assistant has this gets the data and then the home assistant goes and gets it I'll show you home assistant how I've set it up this is uh, this is another Raspberry Pi that's running home assistant on it I haven't got it in a case because actually I bought a case and the case just uh, chewed through the 
um, chewed through the chip, the chip. And also, I think it's best to just have it without a case on, because it um, it dissipates the the heat. I've had two cases so far, and they've both been absolutely rubbish. But uh, so anyway, that's Home Assistant. It's plugged plugged in by um, a network cable to make it even easier. And then I'll show you actually. So um, Home Assistant um, on here. So this is um, Home Assistant. You've got the battery charge 58. That's that's getting the information from the other program, from uh, Solar Assistant. So, and then you can see the hot water tank temperature. Well, that's probably, it's cool. We had both had showers last night. So after, after the hot water had been heated up to about 60, it's got down to about, 40 now it's early in the morning and that's still hot enough to have a shower but as the sun comes on it'll start heating up and then probably if the battery is charges goes over 80 percent it'll start using the electric again the electric element it's all a bit complicated and you can see there the hot water tank element is now off but in 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 Home Assistant, it's very easy. I can't really show you. I can't really show you. It's really, really easy to make a rule to say that if the state of the bat the battery state of charge is over eighty, then put on hot water tank. If the state of charge goes below eighty, then switch off the water tank. Or um, if the hot water tank temperature goes over like ninety, switch switch off the element that's that's all the commands you need to run the system but anyway i'm pretty happy with the combination of home assistant solar assistant and uh so, and the my whole system i'm very happy with at the moment